Alright guys, it's Techstuff Yo again. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over how to actually uh, create the virtual device in Jenny Motion and configure it. Uh, if you haven't already seen the previous videos, uh, please do so because you might just watch this video and be kind of lost. Uh, the other videos are going to be included in the link as well. Alright, so and in the last video, this is where we left off at. So, uh, what you want to do uh, is just choose an Android version, whichever version you prefer. Uh, I'm just going to configure mine right now for the Android 5.0 or a later or the a newer Android version. But you can choose whichever one you want from this list. So I'll just choose Android 5.0. Um, you can also choose the different device models from this drop down but at this point it doesn't really matter which one you get so you can pretty much choose whichever one you wish I'll just choose one at random I guess I'll choose this uh, Google Nexus 10 uh, once you have the device selected now the next button becomes active so click next uh, here's some information on the virtual device it tells you the device uh, that we chose in the previous screen uh, the version and then the API as well as it, as well as its resolution and here's just some other information uh, that it gives you a description the system version the name description etc and you can click next if everything looks fine to you uh, and right now it's going to uh, retrieve some files on the device we chose uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video for now so I'll be back once the download finishes. Alright guys, I'm back again. Uh, as you can see, the download's almost complete. Alright, now it's complete and it's doing its thing. Uh, just for a future note, <clears throat> Uh, actually uh, launching the Genie Motion from Android Studio and setting it up actually might be maybe a little slow for some users depending on your machine uh, specifications and stuff like that uh, so if you don't want to set it up from Android Studio because I already know Android Studio uses a lot of resources so you can actually uh, execute it from the terminal which I can show you the commands for that right now uh, just make sure you're in the same directory where the bin file is at and I'll just list everything that's in this directory uh, so you want to change your directory to the folder that it extracted earlier oh, I'm sorry it's actually <laughs> Jenny motion and once you're in this directory there should be a file called uh, Jenny motion and since it's uh, executable you want to type in the following just put period forward slash and then Jenny motion and then you hit enter and then it should run everything the same way as it's shown right now and it might be a little easier and a little uh, I guess less uh, laggy since only Jenny Motion will be running and Android Studio won't be running so if you have problems uh, I recommend you guys try it out like that uh, I actually had to do that before the first time I set it up because uh, running Android Studio was uh, a little too much for his computer to handle so I guess just keep that in mind for future references so right now we'll come back to the wizard and as you can see everything's finished and it's been created su successfully so I'll go ahead and click finish and <clears throat> right now this is the only virtual device that we had so we can start if we want we can add more we can go to the settings uh, right now I'm going to uh, configure this device a little bit um, Right now this tells you how many processors it's using and then the base memory. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lower the base memory a little bit, uh, say maybe like 200 megabytes. Uh, depending on your machine, you can add more, just leave it to the default settings, but I'll just go ahead and do 200 megabytes. Uh, and here's other settings you can configure. I'm going to just use a predefined screen size density. And uh, there's other settings you can use where you can do custom and you know change the size to whatever you want or you can run the virtual device in full screen mode uh, everything else I'm going to leave the same so I'll just go ahead and click OK and then make sure you have the virtual device selected and go ahead and click start uh, on the initial setup right now when it starts <clears throat> it actually might take a little while uh, the first time I ran it it actually 
I was um, updating the Android uh, system. So I guess be a little patient when it first starts because you might just see the Android logo for a little while. Uh, so I recommend, uh, unless you have like a really fast machine, to just walk away and maybe go do something else. I don't know, go do some laundry, eat some food, walk around or something. Alright, so at this point, uh, I guess we're going to see if it loads up uh, right now on the machine. Uh, if not, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video and then I'll be back when it finishes configuring and installing everything. And right now, as you can see, it's taking a little while. So I'll be back, guys. <laughs> I'm going to cut it right here and I'll see you once everything is set up. Alright guys, you should be able to see a screen that looks something like this, once it's almost done. Uh, on the initial run, it'll show Android is upgrading, and it might take a little while. Um, it took a while for me. It probably took almost like, probably an hour. So depending on what kind of machine you have, you might want to just like set it up and just walk away. But remember to be patient with it, because it might take a while, so just give it some time. And I guess if more than like an hour or two goes by, you might want to just consider restarting your machine and trying again. But this is pretty much the screen you'll see, and right now it'll initialize everything, and then you'll see the the uh, Android uh, device. So I guess we'll wait for that to start. All right, guys, this is what it looks like once it's installed and everything's up and running. Uh, it took a while to load, so it might uh, take a little longer depending on your hardware specifications. Uh, in future videos. We're going to show you how to actually like push applications from Android Studio into Motion. But for now, this is how you actually install Motion as well as install VirtualBox. And just so you can see, uh, you can actually use this almost as you would with a real phone. So, But this you navigate with the mouse. So here's things that are pre-installed on it. Uh, it's nothing fancy at the moment, but we'll uh, show you later on how to push your own applications that you develop so for now hope you enjoyed uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe as well so you can see all the future updates that we release but take care guys